gather your thoughts, gather your attention right here, right at the breath. Notice when the breath is coming in, no when it's going out. If you have trouble staying with the breath, you can use a meditation word. Bhutto is a good one. It means awake. That's the quality we're trying to develop. Because most of the time the mind is asleep. When it's asleep, greed can take over, aversion can take over, and delusion can take over. Lots of unskillful things can move into the mind and you don't know because you're not paying attention. You're off paying attention someplace else. And yet the mind is the most important thing you've got. Without the mind, everything else would be meaningless. So you've really got to look after this first. Don't let yourself get distracted. Every time you do or say or think something, realize an intention was there. You have to look at the quality of the intention and then make it pass some tests. For example, when you want to speak, ask yourself, one, is this true, what I'm about to say? And if it's not true, you don't have to say it. In fact, it's best not to say it. And then the second, is it going to be beneficial? Does it really help somebody? Does it help you? Does it help other people? If it harms anybody, then you don't say it. And then the third thing is, it's the right time and place. Because sometimes things may be true and beneficial, but it, it's not the right circumstances. Too many people, too few people. The other person you're talking to is in the wrong mood. You have to look at these things, which means even just before you open your mouth, there's lots to think about. And yet for the most part, a thought pops into, the head, into our heads and it's out our mouth before we realize it. Once it's out your mouth, of course, then you can never get it back. It's like a pet that runs away from the home and you call and call and call, it'll never return. So before you let it out of the house, you want to make sure okay, it's going to be something good. This will be true and beneficial and it's the right time and place. And one way to learn how to develop those skills is to apply them to your own mind. Like right now you're sitting here, other thoughts are going to come up and you say, well, it may be true and it may be beneficial, but this is not the right time. There are other times to think those thoughts. If you can learn how to say no to your thoughts in this way, then you can learn how to say no to your unskillful speech. This is why it's important that you keep the mind trained, because otherwise, if it's not trained, you do things and say things and then you regret them for the rest of your life. No amount of money will bring them back, which is why the wealth of a well-trained mind is better than any other wealth you can think of. So take time every day to keep your mind trained. Stay focused on the breath. If the mind goes wandering off, bring it right back. Wanders off again, bring it right back again. Allow the breath to be comfortable so it's got a good place to stay. And then learn this quality of restraint so you can use it not only when you're sitting here focused on the breath, but when you're out dealing with the world. Because remember, restraint is one of your major protections against other people, but also a protection against some of the worst sides of yourself, the things that come popping up and then run out before you've had a chance to check them. So practice keeping some restraint on your mind every day.